Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can catch more videos like this as I do post them. Also, please do check out the description section below where I often put more information about whatever it is I was talking about in the video and potentially any changes, if I had a change of mind, change of heart about it, whatever it might be, if it's something that I forgot, um, you know, it might be in there. Also, if you have this particular amplifier or you have another amplifier that you love, I'd love to hear about it. Um, you know, there's so many amplifiers and the different uh, combinations with home theater are pretty much endless amplifiers, speakers, receivers, you know, you name it. So let's, let's get into this. Um, this is the Marantz MM7055. It's a five channel power amplifier. I'm pretty excited about this and I've been looking at this for quite some time. I'm gonna unbox it. And the reason why I've been looking at this for a while is I have the Marantz 7013 which is right over here and I, I love the sound quality of it. I, I really do. Um, it's probably probably one of the best receivers I've ever owned, if not the best over the years. It, it has 125 watts a channel times two. Okay, so it's 125 times two. And when I put this into the pure mode, when I put this into the pure mode, playing music, movies with these uh, definitive 9060 towers, the bipolars, um, it just sounds amazing. It just, I mean, it's, it's, it's loud, it's powerful. The range between the high and low sounds and the explosions, just fantastic. But when I put this into nine channel mode, I know that five of the channels are guaranteed with the Marantz 70% guarantee. And the Marantz 70% guarantee means that five of the channels, so if I'm, if I'm running this receiver in 5.1, five of the channels are gonna get 70% minimum of the two channel rating. So whatever 70% of the 125 watts is, I think it's like 80 something watts a channel, um, possibly, or maybe 70 something watts a channel, whatever it is, anyway, when I put this into nine channel mode, it still sounds amazing. And I even run it in eco mode. And eco mode keeps the receiver running cool and it cuts back on power and whatever. Um, and even that sounds fantastic. So I'm really curious as to how this five channel amp is going to sound, because this is, this is five channels with 140 watts for each channel. So. Should be pretty interesting, and that's into 8 ohms. So let's see, the first one I have is, wow, there's a, there's a book. It's kind of interesting. There's a book, and it has some type of a... It looks like there's one RCA cable in here. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I wonder exactly what it's for, if it's a special... Um, oh, it popped out. Oh, okay, it's... After I took off the tape, it ripped the plastic. So there's one thin RCA cable in here. Um, you know, kind of strange because it's, it's a five channel receiver, so... Uh, I wonder if they're supposed to put more in or, or this is for something else. I guess I'll take a look at the manual. Actually, I'm so curious, I'm gonna just look at this really quick. Just wanna see if it has a, um, you know, it says like the parts that's supposed to come with this, like what comes in the, in the package. Accessories, okay. Um, user's guide, that's this. and. Oh, it's in a lot of languages, it looks like. I don't have my glasses, so... Um, getting started, part names, connections, operations, explanation of terms, or is it just 
Anyway, so let's say it says user's guide power cord remote control cable. So remote control cable cable is number three, and that's it, remote control cable. Um, let's see, how many pages is this manual? Connections. So um, that's kind of nice because it has connections. So for somebody that's new to the amplifier game, it has it all laid out. 5.1, 7.1, 9.1, different ways that this could be integrated into the home theater. From 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, and the total harmonic distortion is 0 0.08, so 800. It's 140 watts per channel into 8 ohms. It's 170 watts per channel into 6 ohms. The output uh, bandwidth is 5 hertz to 40 kilohertz. The frequency response, and it looks like at 1 watt into 8 ohms, is 8 hertz to 100 kilohertz. Um, let's see, then it has a whole bunch of other things. Sensitivity for the input. Signal to noise ratio is 105 decibels. Power consumption 660 watts. The standby power is 0.2 watts, so two tenths of a watt. And the weight is 15.7 kilograms. I think on the box it said 30 something pounds. Yeah, so this is in a few different languages. It's in French and Espanol. I am going to spend some time and go over the manual before I hook it up. Um, let's see, I'm just looking for the weight. Weight, where are you? I know I saw it. Net weight, it says 34.5 pounds. The gross weight is 39.5 pounds. And so, 34.5 pounds should be the, oof, I gotta take these off. Ugh. Talk about nauseous and dizzy. Um, so this is probably about 35 pounds. And it does, it does feel like about 35 pounds because I'm pretty much, I have this in one arm right now. I'm actually like holding this with one arm and I would say that is right. So I, can, I can tell it's, I can tell it's 35 pounds because I do. I do dumbbell curls with 45s in each arm. Alright, I can take this off the, off the towel and let's take a look. Let's see what's inside. But this tape that they use to, to pack it really, um, really sticks to everything and, and tears it open. It tore open the plastic. <laughs> It's tearing open this like soft wrap stuff. Here's the here's the power cord. Ah, looks nice. Uh, let's see, it's black, so let's not get any handprints on it. Slide. Let's slide it out this way. Yeah, so with that said, um, you know, 140 watts times 5, that would take the weight off of any receiver that I have. But to be honest, I don't think that this is going to end up in here because I do feel like this has enough power. I was really looking for something for music and to hook up to the Ankyo. Uh, you know, the Ankyo is half the price, and I think it's a great receiver for half the price, but I think it could use a little more power, and, wow, uh, let's see, so 
So what's in the front here? Is anything going to pop open? No, I don't think so. Yeah, so it looks, it looks like this Marantz over here. It's got that same Marantz look. Nothing on the sides. Um, and now let's, let's take a look at the rear. So you got the balanced and the unbalanced. Yep. And that's the rear. Hopefully it's hopefully it's in focus. Yeah, so I'm gonna take a look at the owner's manual. I'm gonna make sure that I don't need to know anything specific. It looks like we have the what is that? It looks like the 12 volt trigger right there. So here's here's the remote remote control for this this cable. Um, you know whatever that does exactly. I'm gonna read about it, and I think that this is the this right there. You know that right there. That looks like the 12 volt the 12 volt trigger. Well, I mean, I can't say that these these connectors feel all that great. I mean, when I unscrew them, they're kind of kind of wobbly feeling. Yeah, they're kind of wobbly. I mean, I look, you know, I know that most of the most of the um, you know the binding posts on on a lot of receivers aren't exactly. You know, they don't exactly feel top notch. But we'll see. We'll see. It's just amazing. It's amazing how much is in here. And when you look at something like this, and you think about this being what which it appears to be the same size as 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 the receiver, you know, they could have never packed this into there. <laughs> I just don't see it happening. It looks pretty stuffed. Thanks for staying with me during this unboxing and come back for the full review of this amp. I'm going to um, I'm going to spend some good time with it. I'm probably going to hook it up. Well, I'm going to hook it up to the Ankyo and I'll probably also hook it up to this uh, just for fun, just to see um, how it how it sounds. Um, but if if the tonal quality of this sounds like the Marantz, I'll be very happy. I know that, I'll be very happy because the Marantz is very um, musical and it's just, it's fantastic for movies. I like it for both. So, keeping the fingers crossed. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.